Gemini, welcome to your reading. I hope that this message finds you while you're in good health and good wealth. Hope that you're doing something that you love today, tonight, this afternoon, whenever this message finds you, simply because you deserve to. Gemini, thank you for all the likes, comments, subscribes, and donations to my channel. They truly mean the world to me. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, the link will be in the description. And if you want more information about private readings, that'll be in my about section on my page. Well, let's get into your reading. Gemini, we're going to pick up on the overall energy for the person that you're thinking about, and then we'll pick up on your overall energy, and then we will look at how you each feel about your situation, the outcome, and some advice. The outcome, the challenges, and some advice. Overall energy for the person Gemini is thinking about. survival and illusion so the person that you're dealing with gemini the person that you're thinking about they could definitely be doing things lying deceiving you some type of trickery right in order to keep the connection alive hang on to your energy or really just survive to me this is an energy of like someone who feels like they are losing control or they have their back against the wall so they're going to do anything that they can in order to regain that control or um, get the best outcome for themselves in the situation. Interesting. I don't know. I feel like you might be being deceived in some type of way for the wrong, like, their intention is not pure. Or their headspace, the headspace they're in is very self, self-interested. Overall energy for Gemini. <clears throat> Perspective and night. So I feel like you're, you might be trying to, you know, keep things in regards to your life, your personal life, maybe hidden, or you're kind of choosing to. I feel like you have a feeling about this person and their energy. We also have routine on the bottom. Like, I feel like um, what they're doing is not very surprising to you. I feel like you know their character. And so you're definitely trying to move in silence or you're trying to not give in to their, their illusion. I don't know. I feel like you're kind of keeping things hidden in some type of way, especially with perspective. It's like you're having to take a different approach to this situation than you're used to having. Weird. How's Gemini feeling about this situation? The Queen of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles. One more. And the Queen of Swords. Holy shit. There's you right there, Gemini. Damn. And the Chariot in Reverse. See, I feel like you might not be in communication with this person or you're not, you're not trying to move forward with this person. Under this, we have the Tower, right? There's something that maybe has ended or you've stopped giving them the energy or the reaction that they're looking for out of you. And you're just focused on yourself and your abundance. I feel like emotionally, um, financially, you're very, very balanced right now. I feel like you are definitely taking a different perspective with this Queen of Swords. I've, you might be trying to remove this energy or distance yourself from this energy of, you know, illusion, right? That they're trying to kind of put you in, right? In order to get something out of you, you could, they could definitely see you as like a very, very important person in their life. Somebody that's very stable and balanced within themselves. And so that's why they're trying to kind of do anything and everything to keep you in their life. But I feel like something has definitely ended or there's just something is not successful anymore um, with the tower and the chariot in reverse. Could be dealing with the cancer, Scorpio. Mm. 
water sign, earth sign, or another air sign. But regardless, I just see you focused on manifesting and like any energy that's going to pull you out of that, out of trying to manifest your best life and the best version of yourself. You're, you're trying to stay away from it. And I feel like that's why that night card is here in perspective. Like, I feel like you're trying to let go of something or someone that is trying to hold on to you. <laughs> like you're focused on you, but they don't want to lose you. So they're trying to hold on as tight as they can. Uh, how is Gemini's person feeling about this situation? The hangman. Yeah, they're having to take approaches that are very <laughs> unusual, I would say. Like, they, I don't know. The eight of cups, knowing that they need to walk away, but hanging on. Or knowing that something has ended. The hermit in reverse. Um, they might fear have a fear of being alone, king of wands in reverse, very manipulative energy. It's making a lot of sense. Um, I feel like they're not, they're not really, they have more healing that they need to do. Like you're in this very healed energy, very balanced and stable energy and they're not. And I feel like that's why you're trying to detach yourself from their energy. Um, they're just, they're kind of moving in chaos and they're, they know that. They're literally stuck on you. They could be lying to you with the ace of swords in reverse stuck on you or the situation itself with the six of swords in reverse and very manipulative with the king of wands in reverse this person knows that something is over but they're not ready for it to be over <laughs> what is the challenge in this situation for gemini Ooh. we have the five of swords and the king of pentacles The devil. They could be trying to use money to persuade you to stay in some form or fashion. Um, they could like try to stroke your ego. I don't know. I feel like they're gonna try to tell you what what you want to hear. So I feel like your your challenge is to not be persuaded by inauthenticity. Like if they're being genuine and they're trying to change and heal, and maybe that's why. They're offering you this, uh, uh, whatever their form of abundance is, then I guess that's real. But it looks like with conflict here, like I can just see ulterior motives with this Five of Swords and King of Pentacles. Like they're trying to use something to hold over you, to make you stay. So I feel like your challenge is to just be perceptive of it or like be perceptive of their intention. Because I feel like they might be very persuasive with this devil energy. And we saw the king of wands in reverse. I think this person thinks very highly of themselves with the six of wands and the emperor. But under it all, under that mask with the nine of swords, it's like they're, they're, they're moving out of fear, right? They're, everything they're doing is out of fear, out of the fear of losing you or the connection. I feel like they're not ready for something to be done or over. And so they're kind of just doing anything and everything they can to persuade you or keep you stuck in the situation with them. But I see you in this very divine, feminine, prosperous energy. I think this person feels you pulling away or you've already separated and they're starting to see you do really well for yourself in some regard, um, especially in regards to your healing. And they're just on this complete opposite energy. So I feel like your challenge is to Maintain that position that you've created for yourself and don't let their codependency on you or the situation uh, stop you from moving forward. What's the outcome? The Three of Swords. One more. The Wheel of Fortune. I feel like this heartbreak that they're experiencing, that you possibly are experiencing as well, like this is definitely divine orchestration. Like this ending was supposed to happen, but this is also teaching you something, right? So the outcome is definitely going to be painful, but it also f blessings follow, right? And the I feel like you're already experiencing some of these blessings in regards to the abundance that you're attracting into your life the clarity that you have, the emotional stability that you have, right? Um, so in that, in that way, 
the blessings are really here already, but um, you also, the outcome is the three of swords. So it might hurt, but it's giving you a chance or opportunity to learn from this situation, which is something that they're not really ready to do or willing to do, but they're going to have to do it anyway, because with the chariot in reverse again, and back to the tower, it's like there, something is ending. Something is ended. And I mean, it might not be pretty, but it's definitely a blessing. It itself right whether it's a blessing in disguise or just a blessing itself i see a lot of growth especially in your life or on your end from the ending of this but don't let your advice is do not let their persuasive energy or whatever tactics they try um to keep you in the connection with out of their own fear of losing you or being alone don't let that work on you i feel like you see very clearly right now gemini so I would just maintain that space, that stability that you've created for yourself and continue to move forward with the clarity and the knowledge that you have from this past situation. Gemini, this was your reading.